Good morning, hey there, Barry Burhoff with Sherhold Industries, and today's adventure is another series of clean and simple tips, and this is about crossing the state of Florida through the Okeechobee Waterway. Surehold, clean and simple. Okay, so we're at our start of our adventure, and we are at our first lock, and several things that you need to make sure that you have before you lock through is you need fenders, you need your crew. I recommend at least two people when you're going through the locks. We're gonna use three. Uh, you need your VHF radio, and everyone who is locking through should be wearing their life jacket. Additionally, make sure you have a safety knife on board, and you'll see where this makes sense, because when the locks are taking you down, if you have a rope that gets hung, you need to be able to cut it free. So we're gonna enter our first lock. When you make it to the beginning of the lock, there is a sign that says arrival point. Your lock master is gonna be on channel 13 on your VHF, and we are gonna hail the lock master now and let him know that we're here. Franklin Lock, Franklin Lock, this is the vessel Surehold requesting passage going eastbound. Okay, okay, I'll get the chamber ready. Come in on the green light, you guys can tie off on either side. First vessel, come in about halfway. 10-4, thank you very much. So very important to listen to Lockmaster's instructions. Today he gave us our choice of locking on either side of the boat. So we're going to set up on the port side for locking through today. There is a stoplight that we can see ahead of us and right now it's flashing red. He's getting the lock ready for us. He said uh, when it turns green that we should come on in. We're going to go about halfway. So we're going to hang it right here at the waiting and arrival point and then we will take it into lock and get ready. I'm going to get my crew ready in the meantime they're gonna get the bumpers out and they're gonna get on some gloves. Now we like to wear gloves when we're locking through because a lot of the lines have been sitting in the water that they have for the locks because you use their lines on the Okeechobee waterway and this uh, keeps you from getting your hands all nasty and all that. So we're gonna call the crew up and get the boat all set and move into our first lock. When the green light is given, idle into the lock. Be sure to have your bumpers deployed and have a crew member ready at the bow cleat and another at the stern cleat. Grab hold of the provided lines and keep the vessel close to the lock wall. Since the water level will be changing, it's only necessary to lightly cleat or firmly hold the lines during this process. Once secure, the entry port will begin to close. Once fully closed, the exit port will open slightly, either releasing or capturing water until it matches the water level on the opposite side of the lock. Be sure to listen for further instruction during this process. Once the water level is matched, the exit port will open fully. When the lockmaster gives the all clear, the vessel can be untied and safely idled out of the lock in an orderly fashion. So regardless if you're going eastbound or westbound, Stewart to Fort Myers, Fort Myers to Stewart, that's what you got to do. You're going up to the lake and then back down, always going through the locks and keeping yourself safe. Until next time, this is Barry Burhoff with Sherhold Industries. Keep your boat clean and simple. Come on, guys. Who left mud on my end screen? We got to keep this place clean around here. That's better. <laughs>